Disclaimer, the video you are about to see has content that contains swearing, substance referencing, violence, and or partial on-screen nudity. If you are a person under 13 years of age, do not watch this video by order of COPPA. In general, if you are over 13 but are sensitive, you may exit this video and find a nice wholesome video to watch. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey there guys, Jordan here. Welcome back. Alright, I've taken my break, so we're now about ready to start this start the second part of this reaction video. And if you haven't uh, seen what happened uh, in the previous one, you should uh, check it out before reacting to this. Alright, let's see what happens next. February 13th, 2.10 p.m. Everfree Forest, Pathway. It'll likely be another 30-minute walk back to where the path splits. You should probably take this time to familiarize yourself with the path, Athena. It could be useful to know exactly how the forest is laid out. Roger that, Twilight. Okay. Hold up. Where's Apple Bloom? What? She was right behind us a second ago. I'm coming! I'm coming! Apple Bloom, what were you doing? Oh, sorry, Twa. I, I didn't realize y'all were leaving already. Was she not paying attention to our conversation earlier? Anyway, oh boy. Where are we headed? The Nightmare Night statue? Alright, cool. Let's get moving. Is it just me, or has Apple Bloom been acting? Oh, ever since we started investigating the scooter and wagon at the crime scene. Yeah, that's yeah, right. I've noticed it too. She never even answered my question about why those things were there. She clearly knows more than she's letting on. Perhaps she's trying to hide something from us in order to protect Scootaloo? That's what I thought too. But how are we going to get her to open up? Well, I can try. I can't guarantee that she'll open up completely. But I might be able to squeeze some information out of her. If anyone could get her to talk, it's you, Athena. Go for it. Got it, boss. Hey, Apple Bloom. Mind if I walk with you? Oh, uh, sure, Miss Socks. Thank you. And please, call me Athena. Hey, uh, I'm sorry about what I said earlier. You know. Uh, about Sakura? Oh, don't worry about it. Uh, you, you were just saying what you were thinking. Nothing wrong with that. Yeah, it was just a thought. Right. Um, so, how did you and your friends first meet? Well, we became friends because we were the only fillies in our class who hadn't yet gotten the cutie mark. I was being bullied by these two other fillies, Diamond Yara and Silver Spoon, and Scootaloo and Sweetie Belle stood up for me. Ever since then, we've been the best of friends and formed the Cutie Mark Crusaders. You all enjoy each other's company, don't you? They sure do. Of course! We have lots of fun together and we're always there for each other. Thick and thin. We're like a family. Yep. I couldn't imagine life without them by my side. A family, huh? <laughs> oh, yeah. I think I get what you mean. It's the same for me. With Mr. Wright, Apollo, and Trucy. Are they those other humans you were with? Yeah, it's strange. I haven't even been with them for a year. But I can't imagine life without them, either. That's true. They're always there for me, too. Even during one of the worst experiences I ever had. What was that like? I don't think it's something I should be talking to you about. Let's just say, if it weren't for my friends, I definitely wouldn't be here right now. They helped me out when I needed it most. In more ways than one. Yeah. Then I guess that's what we should be doing for school, right? Sweetie Belle and I both? I'm sorry she'd appreciate that very much. But don't go getting yourself into trouble. Don't worry, Athena. 
I'm going to uncover the clue that'll save the day. You'll see. <laughs> I'm sure you will, Apple Bloom. February 13th, 2.44 p.m. Everfree Forest, Nightmare Night Statue. Well, here we are. So, this is the Nightmare Night Statue, huh? Uh-huh. It's extravagant. I'll give it that. What's it here for? It's for Nightmare Night. It's a holiday where fillies and colts go from house to house collecting candy. Oh, nothing. Uh, never mind. So, the statue. Is this Nightmare Moon? Yep. Back when she was still evil. Still evil? Why don't we talk about this another time? Let's investigate what we came here to see. Oh, what is with all the deflecting and cryptic clues today? It can't be that hard to just explain it, can it? Private Eye said that there were small traces of blood behind the statue, right? Blood that didn't belong to the victim. Let's go take a look. Alright. What the? There it is. Oh, I think I'm gonna be sick. I warned you, Apple Bloom. This isn't really the kind of thing a filly like you should be doing. No, no. I, I, I have to do this for Scootaloo. Alright. If you say so. I don't think this is enough blood to have been from anything fatal. But the real puzzle is what it's doing here in the first place. So you really think this pool of blood has nothing to do with the case? Mm. Oh, wait, Athena. Do you still have that forensic flashlight on you? I do. Oh, I see. You want me to use it to check for any blood that might have been wiped away, right? Exactly. Ah, good right, thinking. Let's see what we got here. Here goes nothing. Huh? Huh? There there really was more blood. Come on, let's follow it. Where does it lead to? <laughs> what the Are you serious? Oh, my. That's a lot of blood. Oh, my God. <laughs> no kidding. The amount that was visible may not have been fatal, but this? There's no way someone could still be alive after losing this much blood. What? What does this mean? Did the crime actually occur here? No, it couldn't have, remember? This isn't Royal Order's blood. But if it's not the victim's blood, then whose is it? My god. No idea. But whoever's blood it is, they are unmistakably dead. God. Wait, you mean this case might have a second victim? I can't say for certain, but I wouldn't rule out the possibility. Oh man, this, this is not good. Just what is going on here? Statue blood scene added to the court record. Yeah! What the? I finally found you, you ugly hench pony. You thought you could hide from me in this forest? Ha! Huh, no such luck. Nina, get back, you spiky haired villain. I'm interrogating your hench pony, and I will not allow you to interfere. Hey, watch it. Now tell me, what is it that you're doing here? Looking to cover up evidence? Trying to frame Miss Scootaloo for a crime she didn't commit? How vile! Hold on! I'm not trying to do anything like that! I'm trying to save her! A likely story! I saw you and this other... creature... with those disrespectful guards earlier! You were trying to stop me from saving Miss Scootaloo! That must mean you want her arrested and found guilty of her murder she's innocent of! A truly villainous act! No! You have it all wrong! If I may interject... And who would dare? <gasps> Princess Twilight! I'm so sorry! I didn't mean to shout at you! Please punish me however you wish! It's alright. I'm not going to punish you. 
really? Yes, really. Although, I would like to ask you to please stop attacking these two humans. But, but they were trying to get Miss Scootaloo arrested. They're villains, Princess. We have to stop them and save her. No, they're not villains. They're trying to save Scootaloo as well. They, they are? Yes, we all are. But then, why did they try to stop me earlier? They were trying to stop you from getting into trouble. Attacking royal guards is a serious offense, and so is helping some pony resist arrest. Yep. You're lucky you both are just kids. The guards were willing to let it slide. Oh, I, I didn't know that. I thought, I thought I was helping. I'm sorry I attacked you. I thought you were working against Miss Scootaloo. It's fine. At least no one was seriously hurt. Right, Athena? Yeah, I'm all good. I hope that kid didn't do something to my back. I am too young to start turning into Mr. Wright. Uh. Now, while you are here, we would like to ask you a few questions. M me? You are turning page, are you not? Royal Order's son? Y yeah. I understand this may be a hard time for you, but we need to ask you some questions about what happened last night. We'll need to handle this delicately. Otherwise, he might clam up on us. Let me take it from here, Twilight. Sure thing, Athena. Let's start with something a little bit more innocent. Once we learn more about him, it should be easier to approach the topic of his father. So, turning. You know Scootaloo? Yeah! She and I are friends. Look at this ribbon she gave me yesterday. And what was this for? It was a thank you gift for standing by her side when she was confronting a pair of bullies. It means a lot to me. Bullies? Yeah, there were these two bullies who were causing trouble for Miss Doodaloo and her friends yesterday. So, I stepped in and scared them off. What's this about, Apple Bloom? Uh, <laughs> you know... Uh... It wasn't that big of a deal. I guess the whole thing just slipped my mind. Oh boy. Why is she trying to hide this? Does it somehow have something to do with Scootaloo's arrest? We all hung out for a little while after that. Miss Scootaloo and I got along really well. And that's why later that day, she gave me that ribbon. Turning's ribbon added to the court record. together before. How long have you two been friends? Well, just since yesterday, I guess. We only became friends after the whole incident with the bullies. Had you met her before then? No, but I knew who she was. She's Miss Dash's honorary sister. Not only that, but she's also the president of the Rainbow Dash fan club and a founding member of the Cuban Mark Crusaders. That's a lot of info for only having heard of her. Well, she has connections to one of the element bearers, some of my biggest heroes. How could I not know who she is? Element bearer? Jeez, I could really do with a guidebook or something. I felt so lost. Might as well so get used to it. Because of her connection to Rainbow Dash. Yep. I guess that explains why Rainbow got so defensive of Scootaloo. If she's her honorary sister. Huh. I would have assumed you two knew each other through school. You look to be about her age. Nope. I don't even go to school. What? You don't? What about your education? I don't need school to teach me a bunch of useless stuff. I can learn everything I need to by getting out into the real world and experiencing it myself. All that school and books will do is slow me down. I want to learn new things by traveling the land and discovering them for myself. That's how you really learn. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> <laughs> Twilight just broke. And your parents are okay with that turning? Well, my mom isn't. She's been trying to get me to go to school since forever. My father was okay with it though. He was happy that I wanted to follow in his footsteps and become a member of the Royal Guard. He spent a lot of time in Cantalon, but whenever he came home, he and I would always practice sparring. He actually made this wooden sword for me. Looks like it broke at some point. 
My god. Oh, my father always told me the true mark of the royal guard is more than their strength and bravery. It's their willingness to put everything on the line to defend what they believe in. What kind of future royal guards pony would I be if I didn't fight those bullies? I guess. But pulling a sword out seems a little overkill. I mean, they're just kids, right? Turning sword added to the court record. Okay, then. So, about your father. Do you know what happened to him? Yeah. He was murdered last night. I'm so sorry for your loss, Turning. It's... it's fine. This is just... It's just another test of strength for me to go through. Huh? Something else my father always told me. That... You need to remain strong, even in times of hardship. Whoa. That's why I'm not going to cry. I won't be sad. I have to show him that even though he's gone, I'm still strong. I'm going to soldier on, just like he would want me to. And this kid, his heart is crying out in sadness, but he's trying so desperately to act like everything is fine. Oh, it's almost too much for me. I know he wants to stay strong in his father's memory, but this is doing him more harm than good. If you think you can handle it, Turdy, would you mind answering some questions for us regarding what happened last night? Oh, um, sh sure. Thank you. Now, first off, we would like to know what you were doing. According to your mother, you weren't home when your father returned from Canterlot last night. So, where were you? Yeah, that's true. I... Oh. It's her. The mayor from the photograph. Royal Order's wife. There you are. I told you not to run off again. What are you doing in this forest? I was trying to find a way to save Miss Scootaloo. She didn't kill Father. And I'm going to prove it. No, you won't. I told you to stay out of the investigation. Leave the job to the professionals. If Scootaloo really is innocent, they'll prove it. Uh, well, we're sorry for causing you any trouble, ma'am. We're just asking your son a few questions. Well, I'd rather you didn't, if I'm being honest. W would you be kind enough to give us your name? Their devotion. And you are? Phoenix Wright, attorney at law. Okay, nice then. <laughs> if this is how Mr. Wright engages in small talk back home, then Trucy's gonna be waiting on that new mommy for a while. As much as I'd love to stick around and chat, we really must be going. Hold on. We have some questions for you. For me? Yeah. Your Royal Order's wife, right? Yes. Or at least I was. Oh, she sounds so devastated, just like turning. I can't let that stop me, though. I have to ask her about her husband to find the truth. I'm sorry for your loss, but would you mind answering some questions for us regarding the murder? <sighs> I already talked to the police at length regarding this. I do not wish to talk about it further. If you want to know what I had to say, just ask you can them. just ask them. We already did, but... And that's all you'll be getting for something. Let's go, Turney. It's not wise to be in this forest in the first place. But... But... The police will find oh. a way to save Scootle, I promise. Mm -hmm. Just come back home with me. And don't mm -hmm. run off again. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. Yes, Mom. It's pointless to try to get any more information out of either of them right now. Yeah. It's okay, Turning. Like your mom said, we'll find a way to prove Scootaloo's innocence and bring the real killer to justice. All right. You will? I will. I promise. Okay. You better. 
Because if you don't, I'll find a way to do it myself. No matter what. It's a deal. Great. What are we going to do now? I think it's about time we also got out of this forest. We need to go visit Scootaloo in the detention center soon. That's right. right. Let's get moving then. Okay, let's get out of here. February 13th, 3 o'clock p.m. Every forest, crossroads. Hmm. What's up, Phoenix? Twilight, how long did you say it takes to walk from here to the statue clearing? About three minutes. Why? I think we might want to keep these times in mind. They could be useful later. Athena, do you still have the diagrams Private Eye gave us? Yeah, I got them right here. Can I see the diagram of the whole forest? Sure, boss. Here you go. What are you doing, Mr. Lawyer? I'm writing down the time it takes to get to various locations throughout the forest. See? As Athena pointed out earlier, it takes about five minutes to get from the entrance of the forest to here where the pass splits. Ah. Then it takes three minutes to get to the statue clearing and 30 minutes to reach the castle ruins. I have a feeling I know what this other clearing on the map is, so I've marked it down that it takes uh, 10 minutes to reach it from here. As for the path from Zakora's hut to the ruins, that took 15 minutes according to Twilight. Ugh, my head hurts. Okay. Those are all the times we figured out so far. If we find out any more, it'd be a good idea to mark them down on the diagram. Uh, thanks, boss. I'll definitely keep that in mind. Great thinking, Phoenix. Every forest diagram updated in court record. Hmm. What is it, Athena? I'm just wondering what else is hiding in these woods. They're so... mysterious. You're telling me. This place is home to all kinds of unnatural things. It the sure is. Trees, clouds that move on their own. Oh, and I can't possibly forget about the mirror pool. The mirror pool? Oh, isn't that the thing that Pinkie Pie used to clone herself over and over again? Oh yeah, that. Indeed it is, Apple Bloom. The mirror pool is a strange pond that houses a very peculiar kind of magic. If you look into the pool and recite an incantation, the pool will create a near perfect clone of the one reflected on its surface. That's insane. And you're saying Pinkie Pie used to clone herself multiple times? Yeah. Yep. Those clones were causing havoc all over town. Applejack had to use her herding skills to gather them all in one place so we could get rid of them. Wow, that sounds like quite the ordeal. It sure was. Oh, it was. Trust me, cleaning up that mess was no fun. After the whole incident was over, I made sure to cover up the entrance to the cave leading to the pool with a large, heavy rock. That way, no pony can accidentally walk in. Couldn't another unicorn just lift the rock, though? Not exactly what I called secure. I guess? I didn't really have a way to seal the cave completely, though. Oh, man. Well, anyway, we have no time to continue standing around here talking about this stuff. We need to go visit Scootaloo and hear what she has to say. Right. Yeah. As much as I enjoy finally getting some answers, Scootaloo is our top priority. You're right, boss. Let's keep moving. We need to get to the detention center before visiting hours are over, after all. Right then. Follow me. I'll show you how to get there. February 13th. 3.26 p.m. Everfree Forest. Entrance. Uh, Twilight? Yes, Apple Do you think we could stop at Carousel Boutique first? Huh? Why? I want Sweetie Belle to come with us to see Scootaloo. We have to support her. Together. Hmm. Is that okay, Athena? Of course. With both her friends there, Scootaloo is sure to be more open with us when we go see her. And it'll reassure her that her friends are on her side. Not that she needs to be reminded of that, I'm sure. 
All right, then. We'll stop at Carousel Boutique, check back at the castle to see if we received a reply from the High Council, and then we'll go straight to the detention center. Sounds like a plan. Speaking of your castle, I can see it from all the way over here. Well, you're right. I'm so envious of you, Twilight. Getting to live in a castle like that? You're envious? Why? <laughs> what do you mean, why? You get to live in a giant castle. What more could you want? Oh. <sighs> I'd like my old home back for one. Your old home? <sighs> do you mind if we take a little detour? Uh, sure. What's this about? Okay. February 13th, 3.50 p.m. Ponyville. Golden Oak Ruins. Whoa. What is this place? <sighs> this. This is where I used to live. Before I moved into my castle. This is... Your old home? It's completely destroyed. My god. What happened to it? It was about two or three months ago. Equestria was under attack from a centaur named t -Rek. He had sucked out the magic of nearly every single pony in Equestria, making him extremely powerful. I eventually had to fight him, and in the process, he... He destroyed this library. My home. Oh, I... I didn't realize... I'm sorry, Twilight. That's fine. You it's all in the past. Here alone? What about your friends or the princesses? My friends had been captured and drained of their magic. As for the princesses, they knew that T Rex would be after their magic. So they decided to transfer all of their powers to me in an effort to hide it. They believed that T Rex wouldn't be able to find the magic since I was Equestria's newest princess, and it was possible he didn't even know I existed. But he eventually discovered me, and we ended up having to battle each other. All the princess's magic versus all of Equestria's magic. That must have been quite the battle. So, where's Tarek now? He's locked up in Tartarus, where he originally escaped from. Tartarus? Yeah, it's like a high security prison of sorts for all kinds of dangerous creatures. It's guarded from the inside by Cerberus, a large three-headed dog. Right. Still, you managed to beat him, right? And you got a castle as a result? S sort of, I guess. I... I just wish that, instead of a castle, I was given this place back. You don't like your castle? It's a nice place and all, but it's just... It doesn't feel like it's mine. What do you mean? I mean, I didn't really ever ask for it. I didn't really ask for any of this. Being a princess was never something I ever had any desire to pursue. I was just given the title. Yes. But surely it must have been for a reason, right? I doubt Princess Lestia would have given you the position otherwise. That's true. I guess there was a reason. But in the end, it doesn't change the fact that the life I now have wasn't one I ever wanted. I was just forced to accept it and act accordingly. That's exactly how I feel about this tree here. This was my old home, and now it's been taken from me and replaced with something I never asked for, nor wanted. There were so many precious memories I had in this place of my friends. A few Phoenix. Yeah, that's true. I just... I just wish sometimes that I could have it back, even if just for a day, to remember what it was like. A life he never wanted, but were forced to follow. Huh. Athena? What's wrong? Oh. Nothing, boss. Am I... any different? <laughs> yes. I was accused of killing my own mother. But Mr. Wright? He believed in me. He stuck true to his beliefs, and not only was I found not guilty, but he found the real killer! And I was able to save a dear friend of mine when he was going to be given the death sentence for the same crime. That's right. The 
whole reason I became an attorney. The reason I even decided to study law at all. It was all to save Simon from that faulty verdict that I couldn't save him from all those years ago. If only I'd been able to convince everyone. If only I'd been stronger. My life would be completely different. I wouldn't have met Mr. Wright, Apollo, or Tracy. I certainly wouldn't have gone into law. Forced. Forced by who? Fate? Like with Twilight. Was all this just meant to be? But nobody's been saved. What else is there? I still want to be a lawyer. But what if I'm just not good enough? Not like I did much to free him anyway. That was all thanks to everyone else. Athena! Oh. Huh? Huh? Oh, uh, uh, sorry. Oz? Are you alright, Athena? You look a little sick. Yeah, I just kind of zoned out. I'll say. Yeesh. Sorry, it's my fault. I shouldn't have brought you all here. This is just wasting time. No, it's okay, Twilight. I understand. Change can be hard, especially when you're not expecting it. Thanks. I can reminisce some other time, though. For now, we should be focusing on the case at Huff. Right. If that's what you want, what do you say, Athena? I... Uh, let's get going. We don't want to miss visiting hours at the detention center, and we still have quite a bit to do before we get there. Right. To be continued. Different ending credits. Let's see. Julius Gem slash Stephen Wright as Phoenix Wright. Athena Sykes and Widget. Adox Graphist. Webb Shoulders Apollo Justice. Kaylin Vios, Trucy Wright. April Ann as Toilet Sparkle. Kimmy as Rainbow Dash and Fluttershy. Cadet as Applejack. Pretty Pegasus Wings as Pinkie Pie. Silver Feathers. Shannon Evans as Scootaloo. Arts as Rarity and Apple Bloom, Optic Rainfall as Turning Page, Joe Pretzelman 718 as Private Eye, Sassy Sora as Spike, Overgrowth slash Katie Randolph as Fair Devotion, Jerobe, Jim, Jim, Jermaine Barnhorn as Guard 1, Destro, Calais Del Rosario as Guard 2, Viola Rose as Guard 3. Audio Engineers, The Sound Man, Levi Francis Joel, Mr. Gentleman's Benjamin Dale, Writers, Serenity, Everett Tolls, Destro VA, Caleb Del Rosario, Jim Boot, James Boot, Jarvie Jared, Jared Burbable Anderthist, Twilight's Castle Interior Ponyville Square, Viola Rose, Everfree Forest Crossroads, Golden Oak Ruins, Beppy, Everfree Forest Edge, Everfree Forest Pathway, Nightmare Night Statue, Kemetics, Zikora's Hut, Silver Feathers, Shannon Evans, Foot of uh, the Castle to the Two Sisters, of the Castle of the Two Sisters, Shannon Evans and Beppy. Opening cutscene, Bluebell and the Al Javis. Video editors, The Joker, Kevin Randolph. Jerbo, Jermaine Barhorn. Emerald GD, Josh B. Animation Riggers, H3RCM. 
MLPMV guy, Jibril Slade, Silver Feathers, Shannon Evans. Music, the great ace attorney burst into flames, the Al Javis EOJ, Behind Closed Doors 2021, Dual Destiny, Sepence 2003, Ace Attorney Anime, Phoenix in a Pinch, AI, The S Somnium Files, Meek AI, C, Dual Destiny's Prologue, Professor Lane vs. Ace Attorney, The Defend, The Audience Room, Tra Pilgrim, My Little Investigation, Suspense, Your Fate Awaits. Jarvi Jared, EOJ, Turning Page, Youthful Valor, The Aljavis, EOJ, Crusading 2021, Apollo Justice, Trial, My Little Pony, Crusaders Go Crusading, Zephy Sonas, Every Force Fay, Jarvi Jared, EOJ, Private Eye, A Gentle Colts Compan Composition, Dual Destiny's Investigation, Opening 2013, Investigations, Dual Destiny's Investigation, Examination of the Crime Scene, Ponyvization, Everfree Shadows, Last Window, The Secret of Cape West, Blue Lady, Trot Pilgrim, My Little Investigations, Logic, Making the Connection, Spirit of Justice, Reminiscence, Smile No Matter What, Dual Destiny's Reminiscence, A Sad Memory, Justice for All, Can't Sleep on a Night Like This. Apps used Adobe Anime, Adobe Audition, Adobe After Effects, Adobe Photoshop, Adobe Premiere Pro, Toon Boom Harmony Premium, Clip Studio Paint EX, Paint Tool Sci 2, Audacity, FL Studio 20, Swivel. Flashback Profile Art The Aljavis, Graphics, YD Gion, Day Gion Yoon. The Sound Man, Levi Francis. Ace Attorney Sprites, Phoenix Wright, Hesedal, Athena Sykes, Rage, Ragin, and Mercurial SK, Apollo Justice, Hesedal, Trucy Wright, Art Smarty, Do Do Do, and Croik. MLP Rigs, Male Pony Base, Tired Brony, Stallion Pony Base, Minty Root, Twilight Sparkle, Rainbow Dash, Pinkie Pie, Applejack, H3CRM, MLPMV Guy, and DJ Bit 3. Turning Page, Fair Devotion, H3CRM, and MLPMV Guy, Rarity, HC, H3CRM, Fluttershy, Pinkie Pie, Pro, Fluttershy, Spike, Private Eye, H3CRM and Shannon Evans. Guards, H3CRM, MLPMV Guy, and The Joker. Vector Art, Temperable Vector, Silver Quill, Managers, Serenity, Everett Toes, Destro VA, Caleb Del, Del Rosario. Ending credits theme, Message. Original song by Ray Yasuda, performed by Shannon Evans and Katie Randolph. Trans lyrics by Kanono, Jane Red, Nami, and Triff. Instrumental cover by Brian Brian. Video and art by Daejeon Dae Yoon. Director, Editor, Writer, The Al Javis. This fan-made sequel is based on Neil Armis original series, Turnabout Storm. My Little Pony Friendship is Magic and Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney are owned and copyrighted by Hasbro and Capcom respectively. This is a non-profit project that takes no ownership of their characters or soundtracks in this movie. Special thanks to Shannon Evans, 
Jarvi Jared, Capcom, Hasbro, Neo Artemis, Lord Alban, Lord Ivan, and you for watching. All right then, that was amazing. It certainly was more of a challenge than the previous case, but hopefully that they'll be able to uh, figure out what the problem is and hopefully uh, find a way to make sure that Scootaloo is innocent. All right, thank y'all for watching, and I'll see you all next time.